Solomon Foote November 19, 1802 to March 28, 1866, was a Vermont politician and attorney. He held numerous offices during his career, including Speaker of the Vermont House of Representatives, State's Attorney for Rutland County, Member of the United States House of Representatives, and United States Senator. A native of Cornwall, Vermont, Foote began working on local farms at age nine, helping support his family after the death of his father. After graduating from Middlebury College, Foote worked as a teacher, school principal, and college professor while studying law. After attaining admission to the bar in 1831, he opened a practice in Rutland. Entering politics as a Whig, Foote served in several offices, including member of the Vermont House of Representatives, delegate to the state constitutional conventions of 1833 and 1836, and Rutland County State's Attorney. He was Vermont's Speaker of the House from 1837 to 1839. Foote served in the United States House of Representatives from 1843 to 1847, and was noted for his opposition to the Mexican-American War and the extension of slavery. He did not run for re-election in 1846, returned to the Vermont House, he served as Speaker from 1847 to 1848. In 1850 Foote was elected to the United States Senate, he became a Republican when the party was founded, and won re-election in 1856 and 1862. Foote served as president pro tempore of the United States Senate during the American Civil War, and was a strong advocate for the Union. He headed the Joint Congressional Committee on Public Buildings and Grounds beginning in 1861, and which included supervising completion of the United States Capitol's construction. Foote died in Washington, D.C. in 1866. He was buried at Evergreen Cemetery in Rutland. Early life Foote was born on November 19, 1802 in Cornwall, Vermont. He was the son of Dr. Solomon and Betsy Crossett Foote, and his family lived across the road from William Slade. Foote's father died when he was nine years old, and he worked on local farms to help support his family. He graduated from Middlebury College in 1826, and also received a master's degree from Middlebury. He was a tutor in Middlebury and Burlington, preceptor of Castleton Academy, and a professor of natural philosophy at the Vermont Medical School in Castleton. While teaching, he studied law with attorneys Benjamin F. Langdon and Reuben R. Thrall. Foote attained admission to the bar in 1831, afterwards, practicing in Rutland. Start of career Foote served in the Vermont House of Representatives in 1833, and was a delegate to the Vermont State Constitutional Convention in 1836. He served again in the Vermont House from 1836 to 1839, and was Speaker from 1837 to 1839. He served as Rutland County State's Attorney from 1836 to 1842. Topic. Congressman Foote was elected to the United States House of Representatives as a Whig in 1842 and served two terms, 1843 to 1847. As a congressman Foote opposed extending slavery and the Mexican-American War, he declined renomination in 1846. Returned to the Vermont House of Representatives, Foote was again chosen to serve as Speaker, holding the post from 1847 to 1848. 1848 Whig Convention Foote was a delegate to the 1848 Whig National Convention, and was chairman of the Vermont delegation. Abbott Lawrence of Massachusetts, who had worked diligently to obtain the presidential nomination for Zachary Taylor, expected to be the vice presidential nominee, counting on the support of Thurlow Weed of New York and the Southern delegates who had backed Taylor. Northern and border state delegates, who had backed Henry Clay or Daniel Webster for president, threatened to run a Northern candidate in opposition to Taylor unless a Northerner other than Lawrence—one seen as less willing to allow slavery— was selected for vice president, they proposed Millard Fillmore of New York. Other delegates promoted Fillmore because they opposed the efforts of Weed and William H. Seward to control the party in New York, and believed that Weed was working to install Seward as Secretary of State in a Taylor administration. 
They backed Fillmore for vice president because in an era when the president, vice president and cabinet were expected to reflect geographic balance, if Fillmore became vice president, another New Yorker Seward, could not be expected to claim a place in the cabinet. Foote went to the convention as a supporter of Lawrence. Recognizing that the Whigs would likely collapse if Lawrence was nominated and Northern delegates left the party, Foote agreed to support Fillmore. Lawrence's support eroded as other Northern delegates followed Foote's lead, and on the first ballot Fillmore had 115 votes and Lawrence 109. Fillmore won the nomination on the second ballot, and the ticket of Taylor and Fillmore went on to win the election. United States Senator Foote was elected to the United States Senate as a Whig in 1850. He became a Republican at the party's founding and was re-elected to the Senate in 1856 and 1862. He served from March 4, 1851 until his death. In early 1861 Foote met the Vermont delegates to the peace conference which attempted to prevent the start of the American Civil War, sharing with them his view that the conference was a sham by secessionists who hoped to obtain additional time to plan for the withdrawal of their states from the Union. Foote was also chairman of the Senate committee responsible for the inauguration of Abraham Lincoln in 1861. Foote served as the Senate's president pro tempore from 1861 to 1864. Because Vice President Hannibal Hamlin was often absent, Foote usually presided over the Senate during the war, and he was commended for his tact and fairness. He was chairman of the Joint Congressional Committee on Public Buildings and Grounds from 1861 until his death. In this capacity, he oversaw completion of construction on the United States Capitol. <laughs> death Foote died on March 28, 1866, in Washington, D.C. Funeral services were held in the chamber of the United States Senate. He is interred at Evergreen Cemetery, Rutland, Vermont. Honors Foote was a trustee of Middlebury College and the University of Vermont. He received an honorary LL.D. degree from Middlebury in 1857. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Family. Foote was married in 1839 to Emily Fay of Rutland. They had one daughter, Helen Eliza Foote. Emily died on May 2, 1842. His second wife was Mary A. Hodges Dana Foote, who had a son, William Hodges Dana. Foote's brother, Jonathan, born October 31, 1804, graduated from Vermont Medical College in 1829. He settled in Whitby, Ontario, Canada, where he practiced medicine. Solomon Foote's mother lived with him in Rutland until her death in 1845. Topic. See also List of United States Congress members who died in office 1792-1899